Welcome to Electron Online. Here's the first of several examples of how to find the equivalent inductance of an inductor circuit. Now it turns out the rules for inductors are exactly the same as the rules for resistors. When inductors are in series, we simply add them together. When inductors are in parallel, then we use the 1 over L, as we call it, or the 1 over rule. If there's only two in parallel, then we use a product over the sum rule. All right, how does this work? Again, we start with the inductors as far away from the input right here to the circuit. So we take the very end, we take these three inductors right here because they're all in series on the outermost branch. Again, when inductors are in series, we simply add them together. We can then draw the equivalent circuit. Still have this inductor still here this inductor and here. this one. So these three are still intact, unchanged. 0 0.4 henrys for this, this one. one and 1.6 henrys for this one. And those three now will be combined into a single inductor, like so. When we add them together, 0.8 plus 0.5 is 1.3, plus 0.3 is 1.6 henrys. So that's the equivalent circuit of this, reduced to some extent. We're going to continue the process. Again, we take the outermost part of the circuit. Here we see that these two branches are in parallel to one another which means we can replace them by a single inductor. Since they're in parallel, we're going to use the product over the sum rule. We can say that L total or L equivalent is equal to the product L1 times L2 divided by the sum L1 plus L2. In the case of these two right here, this would be 1.6 times 1.6 divided by 1.6 plus 1.6, and that ends up being 0.8. Now, it turns out when you have two inductors that are in parallel, just like with two resistors in parallel, and their values are the same, then the equivalent inductance will simply be half the value of one of them, as you can see the result is right here. So now we're going to redraw the circuit as follows. These two changed. These two now combine into a single inductor. This one is still the same. So this is 0 0.0.6 henrys. henrys, and these two combined now become a single 0 0.8 henry inductor. Now finally, you can see that these three are in series. All we have to do is add them together, and then we have the equivalent circuit that looks as follows. With a single inductor, add them together, 0 0.4 plus, oh, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 is 1, plus 0 0.8 is 1.8 Henry's. And this is the equivalent inductance of this original circuit. And that's how we do that.